everyone, welcome back and it's great to have you all tuned in. As much as I'm excited about shooting the second episode of Showcase, I'm having a little butterflies in here because I'm shooting this with the beauty guru aka Anchal uh, and doing my makeup alongside with her. As intimidating as this is, it's going to be fun because we're going to be doing makeup on ourselves uh, by using the exact same set of products. But since she's the expert, she's going to decide uh, what products we're going to use and what look we're going for. So to see how we're going to transform ourselves, jump on it and let's get rolling. So Anj, tell me what look we're going for today. Okay, so today we're going in for a very uh, simple look that's going to be easy for both of us. Uh, just yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and this is a look that you can do before you're going out with friends, for coffee, for dinner, a simple everyday look. Awesome. That's what we're going so for. let's get started? Yes. Perfect. So first comes first, the moisturizer, the skincare. Mm -hmm. So this would be our first step mm -hmm. to prep the skin. So this is to just take care of Okay, let me listen. where am I? I like how it feels on the skin though. Yeah. This one, right? It's very hydrating and it also has SPF so you get is some protection from the sun as well. Okay, but is this good for an oil, oily skin like mine? This is good for uh, combination skin okay, from okay. Uh, yeah, normal to oily. But if you're very oily, then I would suggest to use very little. Okay. Like and the next important thing is to use an eye cream mm -hmm. because uh, this is a step uh, most of us discount mm -hmm. but it's very important because we're using some eye makeup around mm -hmm. the eyes and it can uh, you know make your eye makeup look cakey and uh, crease mm -hmm. so this kind of keeps the eye area hydrated well mm -hmm. and um, and makes the makeup look very smooth cool. So you can feel an instant hydration around your eyes. Ooh, feels cold and nice. Yeah. And the next prep would be for the lips. Mm -hmm. This is also a step a lot of people discount. It's very important to hydrate your lips because uh, most of us love using the matte lipsticks and it kind of becomes kind chalky of mm -hmm. after some time. Mm -hmm. So this will really help in keeping your lips hydrated. And mm -hmm. then, what I usually love doing is to start with the eye makeup first mm -hmm. so that we can clean any fallouts oh, and mm -hmm. then get onto the skin. Got it. So, I'm going to use my eyeshadow base, mm -hmm. eyeshadow primer. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Okay. Because it's it, it looks very natural once we apply it. Got it. And you just put it on my eyelid. On your lid, right up to your eyebrow. And then you take a tiny amount mm -hmm. and then you just go on the lower lash line here. Okay. This is also a very important step because a lot of times we see that during the course of the day, mm -hmm. we see the, you know, the liner that we put on the lower lash line, mm -hmm. we see it bleed and oh, then it so looks like dark circles after got one it, point. Got it, got it. So this helps this, it. Yeah, it helps it stay all day without moving. So the next step would be um, we're going to start with our eye, start with the eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pick up this Huda Beauty Nude palette, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to take the lightest shade in there with the same brush. We're going to use the other end. Okay. And then we're just going to stamp it just below. Yeah. Uh, okay. So now we're going to use a blending brush, which is that this one. Right? Yes, and then I'm going to just mix two matte warm shades mm -hmm. from the Huda Beauty palette again. This is very important for you to start keep your brush on the outer corner of your eyes, mm -hmm. and then just roll it in Swipe very it. gently. Yeah, can you see the soft? Um, yeah. I think holding the brush also plays an important yes, role in. Yes, it plays a huge role. The closer you hold your brush, the tighter it gets. The tighter the strokes mm -hmm. and lesser the blending. Got it. So the further away you hold it, the better the blending and the lighter the strokes. You can slightly overlap this with your first layer. Got it. Are we good so far? I think so. I think so. <laughs> we'll. <laughs> we'll look at it later. <laughs> so now I'm going to be going back 
to the eyeshadow brush. Okay. And we're going to pick a metallic color. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do now is you're going to the most important thing is you are going to press and slide throughout the lid. Yes, throughout the lid. So do I overlap this with the other color as well, right? So you you go right up to the lid and then we blend again. Got it. Mine's like a canvas, so I get to paint my <laughs> canvas. <laughs> Can I see yours, please? Wow. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I think with me, I always fear that more the product. Can... Yeah. But the thing is, um, like it's just makeup, right? It's so I, I, I always know. tell people it's it's just makeup. It's not plastic surgery. It's reversible, so you don't I have to know. worry. About I... <laughs> <laughs> but when you're getting ready and you have no clue what you're doing, Do right? You know. I mean, I think that's I think that's what scares me. When you're like you have to ten minutes to get ready and you don't want to. Yeah. So so you I just try the press and slide like I told. That's like press. Oh. Press and slide. Okay. Don't scribble on your lid because when Got you do it. that, it's gonna. Oh. The product is not gonna deposit Got as it. well. Yes. Got it. So then uh, we'll go into the last step for eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. We're gonna uh, on the lid. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're gonna take the lightest shade again. Okay. Okay. Or you can mix the two, mm -hmm. and then we could just highlight the inner corner just to brighten the inner corner of the eyes. Got it. Easy. Yeah, I think I'm surviving this. <laughs> mm. Then the last step for shadows, no shadows after this. Okay. So we, <laughs> Are we using we, a blending brush? Yeah, we take the blending brush again. Okay. We just go into this slightly warmer brown. Mm -hmm. And then, you know the crease, right? The, mm -hmm. the junction between the lid and, and the brow bone. Uh -huh. So I just want you to quickly blend that. Blend that. Yeah, okay, so okay don't judge me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Madam Anchel, don't judge me. <laughs> Let me have a look. Oh, it's looking good. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. I'm happy. Oh, God. This is stressful. <laughs> stressful on so many levels. But once it's done, it's just going to be... Okay. So now, we're just going to add like a pop of shine. Mm -hmm. Very exciting, especially if it's a night look. Mm -hmm. You can just... This is the Bobbi Brown glitter. Okay. Pressed shadow. So mm -hmm. you just... Take a little bit again on your ring finger and then you just dab, 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 dab. All over or in this? All over or if you want, you can just, just the do the center. Oh, okay. So now we're going to do the liner. Mm -hmm. And what are we using? So we're using the Tom Ford liquid liner. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a wing liner. Thank you. <laughs> For making my life easy. <laughs> this is, I think, all girls' favorite, but it's something that everyone struggles doing. I know. So there's a small little tip that I would like to show. Mm -hmm. So you go really close to the mirror, mm -hmm. and uh, you you do your the flick on both sides. How do you know what angle the flick should be? Like you know. So yeah. So your uh, the wing should be in line from the corner of your eye, mm -hmm. where, you know, both, where both your lash lines meet. Got it. And it should be in the angle of the eyebrow, where the, your eyebrow ends. Oh. So that should be your angle. Is that so okay? You work, so you, you, you need to work on getting your tip to be sharp. Sh oh. So you go from down and you... Oh. Yes. How's that? that? That's lovely. I yeah. love that. I love the way you that. So now we're going to go with uh, the liner for the lower lash line. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be using the uh, Pat McGrath uh, eye pencil. Eye pencil. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take the pencil and I often see people are doing that big motion around their eyes. Mm -hmm. If you really want to get a punched intensity, mm -hmm. what you can do is uh, you know just pray on it mm -hmm. in smaller sections. I love the color. Yes. Done. So you want to make sure that this is going to last all day. I'm just going to throw in another small trick. Mm -hmm. You just pick up a black shadow okay. with a flat brush like this. Mm -hmm. And then you just pack it onto the... The waterline? The waterline, yeah. 
Now we're going to curl the lashes. Have you tried that? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to be a little careful because we don't want you to pinch your skin. With Got it. it. Mm-hmm. So what you're going to do is you'll probably need to get close to the mirror. You need to just make sure your lashes are Stick. embedded in this. Mm-hmm. Make sure your skin is not pinching mm-hmm. and then you just plunge on it. So now we take our mascara. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use the Benefit, Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Mm-hmm. This one's really good. Uh, this is not waterproof, but it works uh, for mm-hmm. an everyday look. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to set those lashes that you've curled with the mascara. Okay. So now it's time for the lashes. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Lash Glue. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be using the lashes from Yoga Paris. Take a Q-tip and we'll take a little bit of the adhesive. Mm-hmm. And then just smear a very small thin layer on the band. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then you can just, so this is something that I like to do. I just like to, you know, pat the band on my hand, take off the excess glue bl- because mm-hmm. we just need a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then air dry it for a few seconds. And then just put it onto your eyes. So you're basically... Close your eye, mm-hmm. hold the ba- hold the lash on both sides, bend it a little bit. First, get the close the eye. Yes. Oh close God. one eye, keep the other eye. <laughs> you can even do it with your eyes open, but it's harder. So you you get the middle part to stick, and this has to be really close to your natural lash line. And you just bend and whip both the sides. I didn't follow your instructions, but I <laughs> did my own. <laughs> Beautiful. So you could uh, go just go back with your liner and mm-hmm. then just even out the areas where you feel like it needs. Do you to think go. I've gone up or? You've gone a little high, but mm-hmm. that's okay because it's your first time. So what I would suggest is uh, after you've stuck your lashes, just pinch, pinch. Okay. your lash and the false lashes together so it blends. Got it. And if you feel like the liner is a little messed up, you just Uh go over and just fix it. Lovely. (laughs) Woohoo! Then, Mm -hmm. the last thing for the eyes, we're going to do the brows. So I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is, I have tried... My favorite too. Yes. I have tried every brand for brows and I've always found myself coming back to this product. Start with, so when, you, when you're starting your brows, you just make sure that you have the maximum intensity on the arch on, of on the brows. Arch, okay. So I always start with the arch. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to fill in those areas. And, and notice how I'm going in the direction of, of the hair growth. Hair growth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So my eyebrow is pretty proportionate, so I won't overdraw. Mm-hmm. But I would suggest you to overdraw a little bit mm-hmm. since your eyebrows are short. Mm-hmm. So, and as I go in, mm-hmm. I don't want this to be too dark because okay. it will make a person look very angry if they, <laughs> they, if have, they have okay. <laughs> okay. So, and if you naturally see eyebrows, it usually goes from light, light to dark. dark. Got so, it. We, won't, we want to retain that so it looks natural. Mm-hmm. So, I'm just going to draw a very, very subtle baseline like this. So, I'm just going to draw a very I'm gonna look there. Yeah, subtle baseline. Mm-hmm. And then, I'm going to tilt this pencil so I just get the end mm-hmm. and I draw very very soft strokes, strokes in mm-hmm. the line of the hair bro. So once we have done that mm-hmm. to make it look more natural I'm just going to flip over to the spoolie side mm-hmm. and I'm just going to comb it outward and it's just going to blend and it's just going to look like I was born this way. <laughs> <laughs> To start with the arch of the brow. Can I bring this down like you said? Uh, like I actually go, can't see what you're doing. Go all the way, like all the way there. Yes, you can drag it a little more and along with your eyebrows. Okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. You've just gone. <laughs> That's I, I, I like her. I, like, uh, I wish you could. Uh, I, I think, I don't know which camera caught it, but I'll show you an expression. She's like, oh. Um, <laughs> 
I'm not sure what you're doing. That's okay. You look like a joker, but yeah, that's what that's what the expression was. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know if I've done a decent job, but it's okay. It's but thing. it's pretty good. It's pretty good. What I would want to do is take Q-tip and just clean up, clean up a little bit. So now we're going to do a little bit of cleaning. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take the Mac gently off um, makeup remover mm-hmm. on a Q-tip. So you can notice that we have a few specks of glitter fallouts and mm-hmm. things like that. So we're going to take this. I'm going to give you one. And now I'm just going to gently clean the fallouts. And as you go go to your wing, I want you to oh clean sculpt it and make it sharp. Got it. Yay! Now we're officially done with the eyes. We move on to the skin, which took forever, according to me. <laughs> and now we take the Mac primer, mm-hmm. the uh, natural radiance. Uh, primer so when we're doing the primer we want to make sure that your strokes are downwards and not upwards it can be either horizontal or downwards you need to apply it all over the face don't forget your neck so once you've got a nice amount we move on to the corrector. <laughs> this is something that I think is compulsory in all our kids. The uh, LA Girl uh, Orange Broken. Corrector, Pro Conceal mm-hmm. Orange Corrector. It works really well for dark circles and pigmentation. Okay. Thank you. And you can just pick up a little bit of the corrector. This we're going to build little by little. Okay. So, I'm going to take that and you're just going to see where you have pigmentation dark spots. So, I have these dark circles. I'm going to use this there. <laughs> now, you can laugh. I'm going to wait until you're done. <laughs> so now, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the blender. I'm just pushing in. Pushing the product inside? Product, yeah. Okay. So, now we're going to go in with the foundation. Mm-hmm. So I have your foundation here. This is the uh, Born This Way foundation by Too Faced. Faced. Mm-hmm. It's really good. It works good for combination skin as well. And I like the um, way it's buildable and it still looks quite naturally. Got it. Used it. So I'm going to pick up the foundation and I'm just going to apply it on one side of the face. So just paint it. And then I'm going to quickly take the blender and I'm just gonna this blender is moist so mm-hmm. it's also gonna ha- add a lot of hydration it's gonna pick up all the excess product and if you see I'm just pushing the product in so now we're gonna go with the concealer this is the Too Faced sand concealer Good. and then you take the blender Joker. <laughs> so when you when you are blending, just make sure be careful and don't go on to the liner and mess it. it up because you can drag that and that might look like dark circles again. So now we're going to set the foundation and the concealer. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, uh, airbrush flawless finishing powder mm-hmm. in medium. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to pick up a little. So I'm going to set under the eye. So now we're going to step into contouring. I'm going to mm-hmm. use the LA Colors uh, contour palette for this. Mm-hmm. So I'm just taking a slightly warmer shade. You can you can use the angled brush that's easier. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to contour the sides of my... Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to highlight my jawline. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to do the fish mouth. Whoever wants to take out double chin, this is the trick. Yes. <laughs> and I'm just going to go on to the temples of my face because I want to give an oval shape to my face. 
And then just let it quickly contour my nose because it needs a little bit. So now we go with the blush. Mm-hmm. So you do the blush. Um, so you you can smile and do it this way from the apple of your cheeks to this corner. And since I have a rounder face and I want a more slimming effect, I'm just going to do in this angle. Okay. okay. Now we have the highlighter. So I, when I'm doing it for myself, I really like using my fingers mm-hmm. because I feel like the color payoff is really pretty. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take my ring finger again. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to roll into some product. Mm-hmm. In the highest point of my cheeks, I'm just going to circle it in. And then on the bridge of the nose, a little bit here. I'm just going to do a little on my tips. And then... Uh, we're going to quickly smoke the under eyes. So now I'm just going to take the brown, mm-hmm. okay, onto the small pencil brush, and I'm just going to overlap on the black that we did and just create that smoked out effect. If you have goofed up your mascara in the process of powdering your face, you can just re-establish that a little bit. Woohoo! Almost done. Yes. What color do you want for your lips? That's lovely. Mm. Do you want to do a red? Do you want to do a pink? Red, no. Let's do, do, let's do the same thing. Can okay. we do the same thing? Yeah, we can okay. do the same thing. So I'm using this Sol lip liner from MAC. MAC, okay. I'm just going to line my lip. And I'm doing the lip shade uh, from Galactic Beauty called Flirtatious. So that's the finished look, aren't you? Yes, that's it. You're done. <laughs> so what what wh- what's the rating for my kind of, you know, technique and? I would give you an eight on ten. Ten? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd get like three or four. I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> or five. Five is medium. That's okay. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Oh, no, not and bad. The whole thing. Did not... you like the look? Yes. I don't know if if this would still be my daily wear because I uh, see you can really uh, you know you can really play with the colors you can replace your shimmer with matte shades so that which it doesn't have mm-hmm. uh, too much shimmer in them so mm-hmm. that looks more casual mm-hmm. this would be uh, you know uh, I think I kind of got uh, carried away in the moment and I made it a little more glamorous than I planned it to be uh-huh. so but it looks nice right it looks very pretty and yeah. uh, this would be more of an evening look now that we've had to uh, modify. <laughs> Awesome! Yay. I'm so excited we got to do this. I hope this video gave you an insight into how this beauty guru does makeup on herself and also helped you understand that even if we use the same set of products, we're all going to look different at the end of the day. Yes. We, we still have um, our own colors and how the product sits on us would also yes. change on yes. every person, right? Yes. So uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed it. As always, like, comment, uh, subscribe, share, and keep uh, watching this space for more for more videos because we have two more coming up in this series. And we'll have all the details on our Instagram handles, which I'll leave in the description box below and on the screen for you guys. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed. Bye-bye.